Good day, everybody, and welcome to my video series on Quantum Geographic Information System, QGIS. In this video, I want to take us through how to download the software and install it on our system. Before you can use QGIS, you need to have it on your laptop or your desktop computer. So we want to see, and it's a free software, meaning that you can download it freely from the internet. So in this video, I want to show you how to get that done. So just open your browser and let's Google search. And in the search window there, just type it QGIS. Yeah, you can type QGIS download, for example. So it will open the QGIS.org site where you can download the software from. So let's click on this, download QGIS. We click on it, it opens, it says download QGIS for your platform. So this is where it is. And you can see, it says here, if you read this line, it says the current version is QGIS 3.28.0. Farence and was released on 21st of October 2022. So that's the latest available. So let's go ahead and uh, download that. So if you scroll down, you will see that you can download QGIS to, uh, to different operating systems. If your, if your operating system is Windows, this is the one you will pick. If, you're, if you are using a Macintosh computer and uh, your operating system is Mac, then you will use this one here, download for Mac operating system. If your operating system is Linux, then you will operate, I mean, you download this. And, you know, if it is BSD, you download that. And then for, if you're having a tablet, or mobile phone you want to download it to, then you use this. So, but then in this part of the world, most of uh, most computers use Windows as the operating system. So I'll be working with this. So we'll just click on this and it brings us here. As you can see, the download, uh dialog box is open there and this is a file to be downloaded look at the size it is 1.02 gigabyte that's the size of the file so if i want to go ahead i will just click start download and once i click start download the software will start to download or i'm not clicking start download here because i've already downloaded it so but then for you for if you don't have it yet just click download start download and then it will download itself and then you go to the folder where it is downloaded so it the downloading may take a few minutes depending on the speed of your internet because of the size of the file so once you are done with it downloading you will then go to the folder where the uh, the folder where it is. So here it is here on my programs folder, as you can see here. So it's downloaded, and you can see the file size. So this is a file QGIS three point two eight. That's it there. So what I need is to install it. So to install it, you just double click on it. So when you double click on it, say, it says, welcome to QGIS setup wizard. So you just click next and then just keep clicking next, you know, just follow the installation process. I've already installed it on my system, so I won't bother to follow through on this, but, there is no, it's not complicated at all. Just click next. 
then next 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 until you see finish button and then you click finish and that ends the installation process so once you do that then you have installed the software successfully on your system so i'm not doing that because i have already done it so i'll just cancel this so once you finish your installation of the software just navigate to where it is uh, perhaps on your desktop you will see the icon there qgis desktop that's the one you should click to open it and uh, if so just go to your desktop and look for the icon or under the at the lower left corner here you can type it qgis on on the search window there and you see now it has opened it up for you that's it qgis desktop 3.28 so double click on that that's the one you really need and once you double click it it will open the software for you and show you this window so this is the software now qgis it has opened up so that's the process of how to download the software and install it on your system uh let me just take us through the interface we are looking at on our screen now as you can see on top here is the menu the menu bar so you can see that and then you can see the tools so these lines they are representing the toolbars all these icons you can see here they are part of the tools and then you have on your left hand side here your layer panel you can see here on top here layers so you have your layer panels there and on the right hand side is what we call the map canvas well this one opens up because i've not put in any project yet if i use this to do a project now the latest project i did will appear here to see if i want to continue with that and if i want to continue with it i will just double click on it to continue but since i've not done any project yet with this so i will double click on this to open a new project okay so it's cleared up now so qgis is ready but then my project is untitled as you will see on the top left corner here untitled project it is when i save this project that it will give it the title based on the file name that i choose so uh, it's good practice to save your work, you know, as you pro as you progress. So it's good practice. Even before doing anything yet, I can still save this by clicking this button here, the save button. Or I go to projects, project menu, and I look for save there. And I can save my work. But I'm not doing that yet, just showing you what that is. Now. Any data you are using for your map will be displayed here under the uh, at the layer panel here because you remember GIS operates in layers. So your map is made up of different themes, different layers of information all superimposed on top of each other or on top of one another. So let's see. Projects, this where you can use this to create a new one to open a recent project or open an existing one, save and so on. Also, uh, you can use it for new print layout. You know, if, you if you finish your map and you want to print, that's what this is used for. You can also export. You know, you can do quite a number of things there. Then you go to the edit tool. Just browse through each of these to see the capabilities and things that can be done with all these tools. So just go through. Now this layer panel is one we'll be using very, very frequently to add layer. 
can see the different kinds of layers you can add to your GIS. And then we have settings, we have plugins, we have vector, and all these are vector analysis tools, geoprocessing, geometric tools, analysis tools, research tools, and that data management tools. Then we have raster, and all these are you can see raster analysis, different analysis that can be done with raster data. Then the database, then web, because sometimes we want to link what we are doing with the web, we can come here. Then mesh, processing, and under processing, we can assess the toolbox. If I click on this toolbox, you will see that a toolbox is displayed on the extreme right of the map canvas. And this shows the various tools, special tools that we can use in our analysis, whether your data is raster data or vector data. So any anything we want to do, we have the tools here. But sometimes I, I remove the tools so that I can have very wide space to put my map. So let's remove this by deselecting it there. Yeah. So that is how we, I mean, th that is in essence what the QGIS interface looks like. So don't forget again, we have the menu bar, the tools bar, the layer panel here, and the map canvas. Now, it's possible that when you open yours, maybe you find out this. You find out that the window is like this, just one blank window. Now, this is the map canvas. And you ask yourself, um, where is my layer panel? Where is the panel that should be on the left? Yeah, I can't see it. And maybe you think, oh, has something gone wrong with my computer? No, nothing has gone wrong. So you need to bring that window back the layer panel and the way to do it is you go to view when you click on view go all the way down and look for panels you can see panels here so when you're on panels you will see a lot of things opened up here you can see here layers is here but it's unchecked so if you check it now it will appear there any of the things you want here to appear on your screen, you can check. Anything you check here will appear on the screen. So let's check layer here, layers. I've checked layers. You can see now it has appeared. Let's go again back to view, panels. And this time around, I want to select browser. You can see browser, the first one there, browser. I select it. You can see now, it has brought my browser to the top here. The latest one I've just selected on top. Now my layer panel is below. Because sometimes you are working in GIS and you want to be able to access your browsers very quickly. Yeah, you can, you can bring up the browser window here. But in more, uh, if you don't need it, fine, you can get rid of it, but you need the layer panel anyway. So this will always remain here. So that's just in a nutshell what I want to show you regarding uh, the QGIS interface. So in the next video, I will show you how we can get data to use to prepare maps, how we can get data to use, and uh, we'll go through the process. And then we will also use the data to prepare some maps. Thank you for watching. See me in the next video.